بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم محمد سیف اللہ فرام اس کے ٹی اکیڈمی ڈاٹ کوم ان دس ویڈیو وی ویل لرن اباؤٹ ارے ٹول ان ریبیٹ آرکیٹیکچر تو ارے ٹول تو کریئٹ اور ٹیکس ملٹیپل کوپیز آف یور آرجیکٹ سو آئی ویل ڈرا وال فرسٹ and now select your object and array we have two types of array one is linear and one is radial first we will discuss linear uh, we have some options in the options bar first we will select uh, number of copies how much copies i want to take for example five copies i want to take in the options bar we have another option move to second and move to last what, uh, what second move to second is so this will be our first copy and uh, the distance which i will give it will have an as, as, as example or as a sample so it will uh, copy all these object with the same distance for example this is my first point and this is my six, uh, second point so the distance will be 5 feet 6 inches in between uh, my elements click here and uh, you can see this is our array you can change uh, your objects number of objects from here but i will remain the same control z again i want to make changes again array now we will select move to last what move to last is i will have to give it a distance so it will do it will be divided in between the number of items so this is my first point and this is my second point so 17 feet distance will be divided between five items click here and you can see the result how much the distance is and now you can change the number of items you want but i will remain the same control z again array and now we have the option constrain if you remember we have already discussed in copy and move so if constrain is selected we can only array in the x axis or in the y axis we can't array freely anywhere to in any direction in our drawing if i uncheck constraint now you can see we can freely array our object in any direction this is how constraint works uh, we have another option a very necessary option group and associate so uh, let's check how it works i will select number of items move to second or move to last so our object will be array as a group if i want to move one object uh, the distance will be adjusted uh, in between the items so let's check it now the distance is 7 feet and our number of items are 10 so i will remain the 10 now if i want to move this object you can see it adjusting itself if i want to move it again to inside you can see the distance will adjust itself because we have selected group and associate now again draw wall here and uh, let's see how if i uncheck my group and associate uncheck it 10 and move to second or move to last now if i want to move this object no matter how much i move it it will not disturb other objects in our drawing that are arrayed with it move this object 
but if I want to move this one you can see the result is different from the first and the second result you can see it's change this is how group and associate works now uh, let's see how radial array works select your object and array now we will switch to a radial array and group and associate numbers move to second move to last these options are the same we have center of rotation so i will change it if i want for example i want center of rotation this end point and how much objects you want to rotate i want five and the angle and how much angles you want to rotate your object so i want it to rotate it to be rotated on 360 angle and now let's see the result so it's rotated on 360 degrees change it it will be apply control z again now I will select the number of object 5 center of rotation will be this point and I want my angle to be 180 so 5, uh, five objects will be arrayed on 180 angle press enter and let's see sorry again apply it and 180 sorry let's apply it again uh, center of rotation this point and uh, I want to give it angle of 90 for example for example I am giving it a uh, numbers of 3 and you can give it an angle of 90 let's see how it works but uh, if I want to change it to 4 uh, you can change it this is how it works let's play around with it for example I want to change the radius to 4 feet you can see its result and the angle you can change it later if you want 45 this is how it works let's change it to 270 so let's play around with it you will have a better result so that's it i hope you will like my videos if you like my videos do subscribe my channel like it and share it see you in next videos bye